Welcome back everybody, Coach Darko here and uh, today I have an interesting subject which is the choice, if you need to make it, between doing cardio and sleeping. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like a real contradictory choice, but many, many people, maybe you are one of those, I used to be one of those, are actually preferring to do cardio instead of catch an hour extra sleep. And I would say uh, I'm totally against that. I don't see the logic and I will try to explain why. So what is the reason we are doing cardio? The obvious reason is we need to burn a little bit more calories so our metabolism is higher so we can lose some weight. Well, that is excellent. Uh, but I would say the purpose of sleep is much more important, absolutely much more important. And if you ask me, if I had to make a choice between getting up at five or six in the morning because of my busy day and uh, doing an hour of cardio or sleeping in, and not doing that hour of cardio, I would actually choose to sleep in. Now, if I would be a Mr. Olympia competitor, then I would need to do the cardio regardless of anything. But for most people, you will have actually a better benefit from sleeping. And why? Because sleep is a, a regenerative time. This is when your body is releasing growth hormone. This is when your central nervous system is actually relaxing. And this is the moment that all of the processes in the body, like digestion, everything is calm. And this prepares you actually for the whole day. So sleeping is not just for the six, seven, eight hours that you are doing. It prepares you for the whole day. And if you don't get enough sleep, if you get up one or two hours earlier than what your body would like to, you set, you set yourself up for the whole day to actually pretty much stop fat burning because you're, uh, uh, you will not get enough sleep, you, will, you know how it feels, it feels like cotton in your head, your body will not like it and it will sense as if something is wrong. Because in nature, unless somebody's hunting you a tiger, people slept until they woke up and then they were fine and they can do the hunting and anything else. But you are now forcing your body to stop, you know, it's, it's perhaps REM sleep, rapid eye movement, which is really the, the, the regenerative part of the sleep, just to do the cardio. And it seems logical, okay, let's do cardio, let's burn three, 400 calories, but the lack of sleep will put you in a stress survival mode because your body doesn't like it. And what this does is this increases release of cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. So if you don't get enough sleep, your body releases the stress hormone. And what does the stress hormone do? It actually releases glucose from the muscle in the liver and puts it in, in blood circulation because the body is, the brain is telling the body, we are not sleeping enough. This must be some kind of emergency situation. We got to break down some muscle, you know, or take from the, 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 the liver, the glycogen, the carbohydrate, because the, the person is going to be surviving today. We need to give them quick releasing energy. Glucose in the blood obviously is stimulating insulin. That is always how it works. You will hear me say this million and one time, glucose, insulin, glucose, insulin. Whenever there is glucose in the blood, insulin gets released. Whenever there is insulin in the body, fat burning totally stops, totally. So what you're actually doing, getting up in the morning one or two hours earlier and thinking you are burning a lot of fat on the cardio that you are doing, you are actually not because once again, body goes into a stress situation, releases cortisol, cortisol releases glucose, glucose releases insulin, insulin by definition stops fat burning from happening. So what you are actually burning in the cardio session is probably more muscle that you would like and way less fat than you would like. I think Stan Efferding, which is one of the greatest bodybuilding coaches now, and he was a power lifter and a successful bodybuilder, he always says, if you are getting up too early to do cardio and losing sleep, you are actually stepping over $100 bills to pick up a $10 bill. And I think that's a great example and I use it myself because it really visualizes the mistake. The loss from the sleep will be much greater than the benefit that you are getting by doing the cardio so early in the morning. 
So you are stepping over a $100 bill, not picking it up, you are actually, uh, and you are picking up a $10 bill. That doesn't make any sense now, does it? Instead of sleeping in longer, letting the body really recover at its own pace, now when you wake up, you can still do your cardio, or maybe later in the day, but your body will not be in a stressful position. It will not put you under stress. It will not release cortisol, and it will not set you up for failure pretty much the rest of the day. Very important. And I think this is what, I don't know if people know this, but they just think, I got to go through it. You know, they think that getting in shape is always suffering, and it is not. Don't forget, people, this is called fitness, fit, healthy. Even the word body building, it means to build up the body. You cannot be fit and healthy and, and, and building up the body, which is a positive something, if you are, you know, chronically lacking sleep, which will put you in a very disadvantage, uh, disadvantaged position. This is not how you do it. So sometimes, yes, you might have to suffer, but sleep is the last thing that you want to be suffering on. Sleep is absolutely crucial. Whenever people say what is needed to get in shape, calories, hormones, training, they forget maybe the most important one, sleep. Sleep is absolutely crucial and anybody who has any issues with insomnia, waking up, not being able to sleep, which is, I believe, one third of the world's population, which is insanely high, they will all tell you, yes, Darko, <laughs> sleep is incredibly important. So whenever I'm on a diet and I notice I'm waking up too early, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm not sleeping well, the depth of sleep is, is, is you know, not as it should be, I know that I'm going too far because I'm not doing any competition, I'm not a Mr. Olympia or not even Mr. Local uh, you know, gym guy. I'm doing this for myself to be healthy and fit and to have a good life and sleep is definitely perhaps maybe even the most important thing. I can much easier suffer on food, on harder training, on more cardio, but definitely I don't want to suffer on sleep. Absolutely not. Whenever I notice that, I change things up until I sleep well, because if I wake up rested, my cortisol will be nice and low, my stress levels will be totally managed. Also, what, what is an important thing, when your cortisol is higher because of lack of sleep, this brings emotional eating much more to the front because your body is kind of in a survival panic mode, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't have woken up so early if there was no reason. So it, the body is like, okay, uh, we got to survive. And it is giving you signals to the brain to look for the quickest sources of energy. That's not going to be the salmon. That's not going to be the, uh, the fish or the chicken or the eggs. There's going to be pure sugar because that is the easiest form of uh, absorbable energy. So you will have all day thoughts about sugar, give me candy, give me gummy bears, give me spoons of sugar, give me energy drinks, all of that. And we all know how detrimental they are for your health and your weight loss. Uh, so if you, and this works immediately, it's not like you need to lose a week of sleep. This works two hours in the morning that you lost, uh, uh, from your natural sleeping habit, you are set up for the day to have a very, very difficult time. So take my advice, uh, do cardio at a later moment in the day, if you have the time, perhaps even before sleep, you know, uh, Ronnie Coleman was doing that for many years and many other people, that's fine. It's not the best option, but it's fine. Take your sleep, go to bed on time, uh, have a good sleep hygiene. I will make a you know, uh, different video about this, how to optimize your sleep. And I'm really following my, my own advices in that. And sleep has been great, very important. Uh, don't get up early in the morning thinking you got to be uh, like the Rocky and you know, the, 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 the music pumping all day. You got to suffer. Sleep is absolutely necessary. You want to wake up rested, refreshed. And then you can go kick butt all day and that will benefit you. So I would say sleep always, absolutely always over cardio unless you are doing a competition, you are four weeks out, you stand to win 50 or 100 grand, 
and a big title, yeah, then you will need to suffer a little bit, but you will definitely suffer, you know, and this can have longer consequences than, than just four weeks, but okay, you stand to win something, so it does make a little bit of a sense. But for most people who want to lose 5 or 10 kgs, 10, 15 pounds, there is no reason to sacrifice on sleep. Sleep as long as you can and, and, and as qualitatively good as you can. Cardio, uh, weight training, diet, it will all come when you are rested. Because if this is not okay to sleep, everything else is set up pretty much for failure or a much harder time for that day. All right, I hope that was a little bit enlightening, a little bit informative. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, share, subscribe, always helps. Give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch each other in the next video pretty soon. Coach Darko signing off.